you want to start using the new poll functionality in Google Meet? I'm Chanel Greco from Sir Paris, and in this video, I'll show you how you can use polls in Google Meet, and plus, I'll give you a bonus tip how you can prepare polls and then launch them later. Jane and Adam are in a Google Meet call together. As a matter of fact, here you see um, the purple browser. This is Jane's call, and on the left hand here, the greenish, this is Adam's. And just in case you're wondering, um, the Adam, his Google account is set up in German. That's why you'll be seeing German here. And in Jane's case, on the other hand, it's English. So um, everything will be in English. Now, let's say that Jane wants to start a new poll. How would she do so? Well, she clicks on activities and then on polls. And now start a poll. And let's have, let's ask a question. So I have something prepared over here. Do you like the new poll functionality? Yes, no. If you need more options, then just click on here. Maybe, there you go. And I'm going to save that. And then I'm gonna create a second one. So you don't have to launch them right away. You can already, or instead you can go ahead and prepare them here. Um, yes. Uh, no, I don't know. What are polls? Question. There you go. Save. Okay. And once um, I'm happy with it, I can say I can launch it. If I want to show everyone the results as we go, uh, we can actually let's let's do it. Um, let's have one on with show results and the other one without. So let's do like so. Click on launch. And also here, click on launch. So. Keep in mind, this is Jane examples view. This is Adam's view, and he now can click here on uh, activities and here polls in German Umfragen, and he can now vote. So do you like new poll functionality? Uh, yes. There you go. And uh, will you be using polls? Let's be funny and say, what are polls? And there you go. So you already see the difference here. Uh, in the first question or the first poll, I said uh, that the everyone in the call gets to gets to see the results. So I see that one po person voted for for this answer here. In the second, on the other hand, I denied that option, and um, Adam only sees his own answer. Okay, so um, once Jane is happy with the poll, she can also end the poll. Let me end the second poll too. That's that. Um, let's close this out and let's say the meeting is over um, because now we want to see or no, let's back it up. So if Adam clicks on activities, he can only answer to polls. He cannot create polls himself. Why not? Because he's not the owner of this Google Meet call. This is a call that was created through um, through a calendar invitation, and the owner of that calendar invitation is Jane. So if, um, let's say, you're an assistant for someone and you're creating Google Meet calendar invitation or calendar invitations and adding Google Meet um, calls to them, and you want your manager to be able to create polls, well, then you have to transfer ownership um, to them and they have to click on the link that they will receive by email and accept ownership of that um, event. And only then, as an owner of the event, can you actually start polls. Okay, so let's end this call here and this one too. Jane now, as the owner of this calendar invitation of this Google Me call or the initiator of this Google Me call, received an email now that we've ended our call and let's have a look at it. So these are the polling results. I can open this in my drive. It was just saved to uh, Jane's My Drive. And if we double click on it, this is how it looks. So the questions that were um, asked, the polls that were launched and the names and the answers of the people. So if, I don't know, 10 people would have um, participated in this poll, we would see 10 different answers here. Uh, by the way, down here, there's also um, the details of poll number one and poll number two. So that's how that looks. So now on to the bonus tip. 
and that is that you actually can prepare polls in advance so that you only have to launch them once the meeting starts. So let's say that in, I don't know, a week's or two weeks time, uh, there's going to be a team meeting and Jane example wants to um, launch a couple of polls and she wants to now prepare this in advance. Well, just simply click on the join with Google Meet because this will bring you to the Google Meet call. As a matter of fact, I'm already in this specific call. Now keep in mind, this is going to be the exact call we're going to use in two weeks time for our team meeting. I'm just using this to prepare the poll in advance. So I again click on activities, then on polls, and then I can say, I don't know, let's use the same thing we did before. Do you like the new functionality? Let's go ahead and save that. Um, and say yes or yes, no, <laughs> just kidding, yes, no. We can save that and then also we could create a second poll, the exact same thing and say yes or no. Save it and that's it. This is now prepared. This is now created already in advance in this call. I can end this call and Come our meeting in two weeks, you go into that specific call, the polls are there, all you have to do is launch it. So that's how you can prepare polls in advance so that you only have to launch them when you're, while you're already in the meeting. Let me know if you plan on using polls in your future Google Meet calls. And would you mind subscribing to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below? Because every week I publish new video tutorials about Google Meet, Jamboard, Google Workspace in general, and I would not want you to miss out on any of those videos.